Hey everyone, Revolution Hunt Cowboy here, and this is my review of Greymon, who is from the anime Digimon Adventure, or better known as Digimon Digital Monsters. And that, um, he is from Season 1 of the anime, which aired originally in Japan from March of 1999 to March of 2000. And then aired, I know, here in the U.S. from um, August of 1999 to June of 2000 on Fox Kids. And um, everywhere else in that same time frame. Um, so anyways, um, the figure is made by Bandai. And of course, this isn't any ordinary Greymon figure. Because Greymon can digivolve from its champion level into its ultimate level of... Metal Greymon! Yep, that's right. He just digivolved from Greymon to Metal Greymon. Now you want to know how I did it. Of course, other than video editing. Well, then sit back and watch my review to see how Greymon digivolves into Metal Greymon. Hey guys, how did y'all like the little beginning there? Something a little different than my previous videos, which... If you watched my last four or five of reviews where I would go for about maybe... I don't know, two or three minutes or about talk about the show before I actually get down to the review of the, you know, the figure and you see me holding it for a while. I decide, you know, now that I can edit my videos, I can finally do away with that. Do a cool intro. So eventually by the time you see me holding the figure, we can get down to business. So I know I'll probably waste about 30 seconds there, but hey, it's better than wasting about three minutes. Now keep in mind, um, I don't have the best feel quality here. I always use my iPod touch, so I'll try to be as close and as in detail as I can while we're on reviewing the figure. So try to follow along the best you can. If you can't, I'm sorry. I guess slow the video down. So before we transform or digivolve this figure, which is Greymon, you know, get a good look at him. And for those of you who are not familiar with Digimon or maybe never knew about the first season, Greymon, of course, is like a kind of like a what Tyrannosaurus or an Allosaurus looking kind of. Um, Digimon, Dinosaur Digimon to be exact. And of course it's got horns. So kind of like a bull, kind of rhinoceros thing going on here with Greymon. His rookie form is Agumon, who's like a little reptile, little mini looking transforms. And then he has his other evolutions, which as you saw in the beginning of the video was Metal Greymon. The articulation right here in the arms, legs, and his knee, his foot. Um, has some articulation in the mouth. Which does a little has a you know android arm for when he digivolves into uh, metal Greymon, and then his tail, which yeah, his tail looks very odd, and there's a reason for that. So get down to business. Oh yeah, and of course I guess this counts as articulation in his chest, which that's a very important part. So right here is how you start the transformation or the digivolution. Pop open his back hatch, and well, the metal part that goes onto him, you know, comes out. So we pull this out. And this would be the little metal part that goes, or kind of a helmet in a way. Inside is his, um, his android arm, which you pull out of his mouth, or his head, I mean, you know, of his skull. And, of course, uh, I guess there's some articulation here with the hand. The hand moves. And the hand can come off pretty easily, so you got to be careful. Then, his other arm, uh, you flip it around, kind of like this, right here. Goes right down, right here. And then you got to flip the chest out, too, which... Right here, like this, and this is the chest where he would have fire his missiles in the show. But this figure did not come with any missiles, so it just looks like this. Looks kind of odd, uh, you know, because don't want missiles shooting out at other kids. Cause that's a silly figure too. Even though I was probably about 14 or 15 when I bought this figure, because you know I was a dork, then, kind of a nerd then, and I'm still kind of a nerd now. But you know what? Hey, being a nerd's cool now, <laughs> and it's not all computer science nerd. With glasses with tape on them and pocket protectors and then, well, I'm pretty sure I just offended some people. Oh, it's, it's all in fun. So, okay, so back to the review of the figure. Um, gonna pop out in their tail here, which just looks very vulgar at the moment. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't get censored for this. No, but, of course, he has a second tail, which... Oh, some people are like, wait, 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 he has a tail right here. Well, like I said, there's reason for that. So now we're gonna close this up. We do this. Little pegs right here in the back, and there's little holes for the pegs. Snap in place. And then this is a little difficult. You have to be careful with the horn. The horn can come out. You put the gray um, kind of skull helmet piece over him, and there you go. But he's not done yet because Mel Greymon can fly. So the tail opens up, reveals his wings, 
And um, let's do this, see? And do it on the other side. Uh, pull them back. And finally, you snap the peg right in this, this hole here. And boom. Very simple evolution, or digivolution, from Greymon into Metal Greymon. Really awesome figure. Now, of course, let's point out some of the little things about this figure that probably makes it look much different. And you got the diehard nerds like, wait a minute, that's not how Metal Greymon is supposed to look. Once again, there goes my Eric Cartman impression. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not trying to be Eric Cartman, but I guess Eric Cartman can be a nerd, right? You look like Eric Cartman. <laughs> hey, Eric Cartman is probably a rich motherfucker, right? Okay, I'm on to the point. Okay, so you may notice he doesn't have the red hair like he's supposed to in the anime. And I heard the wings and all that. I mean, he's pretty fairly accurate. His eyes are the wrong color. There's, you know, it's supposed to be blue, but, you know, because he has a little helmet that pops on, I guess. I don't know why they couldn't have put a uh, painted, you know, set of eyes on there, but, you know, whatever. Other than that, the figure's pretty much accurate to how it look in the anime. And, um, I guess I could digivolve it back, but. Yeah, that would take another couple of minutes. Probably less if I wasn't talking so much about other stuff, but whatever. Anyways, awesome figure. Rawr. And this was only one of about five figures that were released in the first wave of the um, first um, wave of Digimon, of, you know, figures that you know could digivolve from one form, whether it be a champion to ultimate or rookie to champion. Or later on, you know, I believe Ultimate Mega and then um, War Bidge Wall from Rookie to Mega, which thus was made the last wave of Season 1. And then, of course, Seasons 2 and 3 followed. And Season 4, and then I don't know if they did anything for Season 5. I did not see any Season 5 toys. Um, of course, the first wave was Greymon, which, you know, I already knew he did well as the Mel Greymon. And then um, Garurumon, which one of my friends had, and he did well as to wear Garurumon. And by the way, um, I'll try to get some pics on the, pit on the on the screen. If you don't see any pics, then I'm sorry, but that might help you out with the video a little bit. And then next would be, uh, I believe, Kabuteri Mon and Digimon into Digivolved, excuse me, into a uh, Mega Kabuteri Mon. It's ironic that he's Ultimate, but still. And then um, Bergamon Digivolved into Garudamon. And the last one I believe in the first wave was Patamon Digivolved into Angemon. And then later on, there was, I think, one with Magna Agemon. I'm not sure if it was Agemon that evolved into him or if he was Agemon with Seraphimon. I, I can't remember. And then there was the uh, two rookie ones, the Megas, with Agumon that evolved into uh, War Grandma, which I wish I had that figure. But, hey, you know, there's eBay, so I'll try to look it up. And then there was Gobimon Warp that evolved into uh, Metal Grumon. And then, of course, there's ones of Season 2 and Season 3 and... Those only are two scenes I have figures of, and I'll get to those in a later review. And then, you know, some more little points. I'm surprised that I don't know if they ever did this, but there was a maybe a you know in the anime and the card game, and then later in the video games too, there was a blue version of Metal Greymon, the evil virus version. You know, it would have been cool if they would have made one, but problem with that is, you know, they would have to make Greymon blue, and you know, even when he's still, uh, even if he's a virus Greymon, he'd still be the same orange Greymon, but then he turns to the blue one and become metal Greymon and whatever. Kind of like this. Um, yeah, he doesn't have his blue stripes. And by the way, this is a little skateboard. Doesn't do much. I mean, you can take the figure off and he skateboards. I mean, uh, he rolls. I know you couldn't see that. Uh, yeah, grind. And then back to the Greymon figure. Comes with a cool little, um, kind of a prism holographic card. Hope you can see it. And then back, talks about what kind of Digimon he is. Um, talks about his, his size and his technique, which is the Giga Blaster. And as it shows, you know, the missiles that are firing out. And his number is uh, 54, which the Digimon's numbered system was a lot different than the Pokemon numbered system. And I can go down the list of what makes Digimon so different from Pokemon, but that's not what the video's about. But, yeah, um, anyways... Uh, this is my review of Greymon who just wanted to get into Metal Greymon. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you guys could get through my, you know, my rambling. I'm a rambling man. I already said that in my video blog. Now, on another note, I have about two, three more Digimon figures to review. Uh, I'll mention them later. One of them is actually, well, I, I said three because one of them is not a Digimon figure, but it kind of goes with one of the other figures. And then that's it. That's all the digital figures I had. I maybe had a few other digital figures that were like the little minifigures that the action features, but I don't have those anymore. 
But, um, hope to get those videos up here within the next week or so. Maybe this week. Uh, before the end of this month, I mean. I'm trying to become more active with video editing and with video reviewing. I mean, that's what Well, both. And hope to get a better camera, but, you know, my iPod Touch does a job. So, anyways, I'm Revolutionary Cowboy. Thanks for watching and rock on. Urgh. Urgh. Ah, skateboard on you. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah, grind on you. Urgh. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that's right. I'm playing with my toys. A little bit of a bonus here for you yeah, for watching the video. Now you can see evil Metal Greymon skate on the, you know, bigger Greymon. The real Metal Greymon. Urgh. Hey, I might be evil, but I'm like, I look more like Metal Greymon than he does. Urgh. Sure, haha. <laughs> you're kind of big. Are you my daddy? What the heck you call me your daddy? What, you want child support or something? No. You suck. Ah, ha ha ha. Make sure to subscribe to Rebel Child Cowboy if you want to see more Digimon videos. Or I'll come to your house and blow it up. Don't, don't say that. You're going to be in trouble. I don't care. You want me to get the shredder? And he'll get you in the throw of his little pitchfork thing or whatever he's got. Uh, no. I don't want that. Shut up! Now why don't you go grind on something? Be a wannabe Tony Hawk. Arr, shut up! <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching.